From a secret time machine to an underground kingdom, here are nine of the most mysterious locked doors that can never be opened. Qin Shi Huang's Secret Tomb Deep in the hills of Xi'an, China, there is a giant collection of terracotta soldiers made by Chinese citizens in the 3rd century BC dedicated to the memory of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. This collection of sculpted soldiers is astounding enough on its own, but the area bears even further mystery. For over 2,000 years, no one has entered Qin Shi Huang's tomb, in spite of our knowledge of its location. You might ask, why don't we just go inside? Well, on the first hand, we quite simply do not have the technology available to do so effectively. Archaeologists do not want to disturb anything within the tomb, but rather hope to keep everything intact. Another reason is that ancient texts claim that Qin Shi Huang had an entire underground kingdom, and that he might have placed large rivers of mercury around his resting place. This would make the project of exploring his tomb extremely dangerous. And indeed, samples indicate high concentrations of mercury around his tomb. The emperor likely passed away from ingesting mercury trying to live forever, so it is fitting that mercury is what should make it so difficult to investigate his tomb. But hopefully archaeologists can take a look somehow. Maybe with some sort of scanning device? Who knows what we could learn. Sealed Mausoleum in Aztec Ruins The Aztecs were known for their braveness and offerings tendencies, which makes them an intimidating group of people. It seems that the more we find out about them, the more there is to fear. That is why when recent excavations in tunnels below the Aztec Temple of Templo Mayor received a pair of sealed burial chambers, people were abuzz with curiosity. Archaeologists think that these tombs might house some of the great kings of the Aztec kingdom. They think this because the space below Templo Mayor seems to have been used like a ritualistic area where kings' corpses were cremated, but they want to be careful before proceeding into the sealed mausoleums. The site is too fragile to proceed without caution, but the things that they've found at the site are undoubtedly evocative, and make the sealed tombs even more mysterious. For example, they found a large box containing the rests of children and eagles. The nature of their remains makes it clear that these rests likely came from a sacrifice. Hopefully archaeologists figure out a way to open up this tomb soon, because it would be nice to know what is going on here and what mysterious things are still there. And now for number 7, but first be sure to subscribe if you are new here, and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest videos. Vault B in the Indian state of Kerala lies one of the few and most revered temples dedicated to the Hindu deity Mahavishnu. Known as the Sri Padmanabha Swami, try to say that three times fast, the temple was built in the 6th century AD and is covered in gold and is very impressive. Temples are beautiful places, and India has some of the most beautiful ornate temples in the world. But of all of them, the Padmanabha Swami temple might just take the cake. Some say that it is the richest temple on earth. The entire building is plated in gold, and over the years, many have uncovered troves upon troves of treasures from its hidden chambers. But there is one chamber that remains unopened the famed Vault B. The reason that it is yet unopened range from religious to downright superstitious. For one thing, there are supposedly many Hindu deities guarding the vault. Because it is such a holy place, people fear for their own lives and do not dare to open its doors. Legends say that those who attempt to pass through the vault will encounter a catastrophic fate. Anyway, Many other such vaults in the temple have been opened to reveal great treasures. In 1908, there was a failed attempt to open a vault. The explorers left the room when they found the chamber infested with cobras. In 1931, when the government of Kerala was financially in need, another group of explorers opened the vault successfully. When they opened the chamber, they found a treasure of gold coins. The Vault B remains shut. While some say that Vault B has in fact been opened a few times, others have said this is the only antechamber and not Vault B itself. Three years ago, the government of India wanted to open the Vault B, but the Travancore royal family and many religious devotees disagreed with this order. This was because they made a ritual called Deva Prasnam, in which a young person served as an instrument to the deities to interact and convey their wishes on the fate of the temple. After the ritual, the deity was apparently not pleased, wishing the treasures not to be disturbed and the Vault B not be opened. Those who performed the ritual said the opening of Vault B will cause catastrophic events of apocalyptic proportions. 
Side note, Auditor General Vinod Rai challenged the superstition surrounding Vault B in 2015 when he informed the court that the chamber had been opened without incident several times since the 1990s. It remains closed, however, per the wishes of devotees, temple officials, and the royal Travancore family. Hmm, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Eremu Muru in the early 90s, mountaineer Jose Memani discovered Eremu Muru, a peculiar rock formation located deep inside the Peruvian countryside, smooth to a flat surface, and adorned with strange features. It stuck out from the rest of the landscape. Eremu Muru is actually close to the Bolivian border, right next to Lake Titicaca. It is fairly large, standing at 23 square feet with a strange alcove, which happens to look a lot like a doorway standing around 6.5 feet tall. No one is certain of Aramumuru's original purpose, but it was likely constructed by the Incas. However, the most interesting aspect of Aramumuru is its mysterious doorway. People have referred to this door as the Gate of the Gods, and a legend has it that people sometimes enter through the door never to be seen again. The native Peruvian people say that the way their ancestors opened the door was using a golden disc that fell from the sky. People even report paranormal lights passing through it, but none of these rumors have been confirmed. However, it is definitely scary to think that this doorway is a portal to some other realm. Brompton Cemetery In terms of doors that should never be opened, high up on the list would be coffin doors, but some people are inclined to reject these intuitions. In fact, a couple of people in West London are hoping to unlock a mausoleum door at the Brompton Cemetery, home to over 35,000 monuments in total, which they believe may be a fully functioning time machine. The mausoleum itself is imposing on its own. Made entirely out of granite and standing at around 20 feet tall, the tomb houses Hannah Cortoy and two of her daughters. Inscribed on the front of the mausoleum are hieroglyphics, and the key to the tomb is lost. Because the building hasn't been accessed since it was constructed in the 1850s, this has led people to speculate that it may be a time machine. Stephen Coates, a film composer, thinks that it is more like a teleportation device and wants to get a large bronze key made to open the chamber. And because of this, the theories surrounding the mausoleum have grown enormous. But it is true that we will never know what the Brompton Cemetery tomb holds inside. What do you think is in this chamber? Let me know in the comments below. Onkolo Nuclear Waste Facility Located in Finland, the Onkolo Nuclear Waste Facility is not a literal door, but is definitely a place that no one can ever enter. It is currently finishing up its construction, and it will serve as the final resting place for spent nuclear fuel. It will be the first place on Earth to serve such a purpose. The facility itself has been constructed 455 meters inside the bedrock. Once nuclear fuel has been spent, it will be sent to this storage facility underground, where it will be wrapped in cast iron and copper containers and then welded shut in order to prevent leakage. The designers of this facility don't want any waste to escape. This facility was made to process the nuclear waste and make it non-aggressive with nature. The idea is to store these elements underground for 100,000 years without any negative consequences for the planet. So if any of these elements escape its capsule, it will not affect the environment. Of course, given the dangers associated with nuclear waste, you can never see the location itself. It will be packed full of canisters containing some of the most dangerous elements in our galaxy. Indeed, its creators are planning on constructing some sort of sign in front of the facility to tell future members of humanity who happen to stumble upon the site to steer clear. This is a deadly place. Hotel Zaza Hotel Zaza is a popular Houston hotel, but they don't want you to hear about room 322. In fact, on the occasions where they've accidentally let someone stay in room 322, the visitors were in for a shock. The room does not look like your average hotel experience. There is a solid brick wall on one side of the room, and the walls are adorned with creepy paintings. Really creepy paintings. There is one of a skull, another of a strange albino man with an angry look on his face, and one more of two ghostly twins. There is also a picture of Jay Camo, president of the Stanford Financial Group hanging up. What's more, the bed is chained to the wall, and the mirror looks like it is a two-way. Naturally, guests who were put into this room were creeped out and had some questions, but the hotel staff just shuffled them away into another room. And although they have other concept suites at the hotel with themed decorations, you cannot book 322. No one is quite sure what its purpose is. Some conspiracy theorists say that it is related to the Skull and Bone Society, given the importance that they place on the number 322. Others say it's just a marketing scam, but even though, knowing why you can't stay in 322 is a whole mystery. Would you want to stay in this room? Let me know in the comments below. 
Room 873. Built in 1888, the Banff Springs Hotel is situated in the rolling snowy hills of Alberta, Canada. It is so breathtaking that it is listed as a Canadian historical heritage site. But, the legend goes, the hotel is also home to a terrifying secret in room 873. You can't actually stay in room 873 any longer. If you walk through the halls, you won't even be able to find it. This is because it has been walled off. It goes straight from room 871 to room 875. But what happened in 873? Stories say that years ago, a man murdered his family before taking his own life. After the investigation had concluded, the room was opened again for business, but guests were so routinely terrorized by paranormal activity, such as flashing lights, piercing screams, and bloody handprints, that eventually the hotel closed it for good. Whether or not this is definitely what happened, something went down in 873. Hotel employees have scripted responses to questions evading them entirely. All signs indicate that beyond the blank wall, there is a boarded up room. This is a door that cannot be opened any longer, and we may never know what really happened in room 873. Sealed Rooms in the Taj Mahal Rumor has it that there's an ancient and sacred temple hidden in the basement of the Taj Mahal. In 1632, the Taj Mahal was constructed by Indian Shah Jahan for his wife Mumtaz Mahal. It is one of the biggest mausoleums in the world. Not only a tomb, but it has a mosque and guest house to round the whole thing off. However, the Taj Mahal also contains a total of 22 secret rooms which have never been exposed to the public eye. Their doors remain shut. There is a great deal of speculation concerning what lies behind these closed doors. Some people say that these rooms would reveal the true nature of the Taj Mahal as a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Shiva, and its discoverers are keeping this hush hush. But why keep this quiet? Perhaps some suggest to stave off tension. The Taj Mahal is one of the most revered places in the world, and maybe the world just can't handle the truth. In 1974, American architect Marvin Mills took a photograph of the red sandstone base of the Taj Mahal from behind the building. In the picture, there's a set of wooden doors. Mills sent a piece of the wood for carbon dating, and it was estimated to be 250 years older than the Taj Mahal itself. When word spread about the doors, authorities quickly sealed them off with bricks. For years, officials only provided cryptic and nonsensical explanations about the Taj Mahal's basement, including that they sealed entrances to avoid mummified remains from becoming contaminated by outside air. However, entrances that are too small for a human to fit through, such as ventilation shafts, have not been sealed. Some people say that the walls of these closed off inner chambers are made of marble, and that exposing them would turn them into calcium carbonate. Chipping away its beauty after enough erosion, some parts of the Taj Mahal could even collapse. Some historians believe that the Taj Mahal was built atop an already existing structure, and that the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan acquired the site from another king called Jai Singh. Another belief is that the Taj Mahal, an Islamic place of worship, was built over a Hindu temple, and that whatever is underground contains evidence of a religious cover-up. Thank you all for watching. Which of these doors would you rather open? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our newest videos. See you next time.